Hello everyone, welcome to yet another edition of Tarmac Talking. I am coming to you live from the final assembly hangar of Aircraft Division of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in Bangalore. And behind me, this is the Hawkeye, the 100th Hawk built by this division here. And today we are going to get you some of the heroes who actively participated in the Hawk production Premier and also remember this Hawk recently successfully undertook the first weapon trial, the SAW trials and we're also going to talk a little bit about that. You will see Hawkeye during Aero India this time, also getting you some youngsters who are part of this program. They'll also share their experience being part of the Hawkeye program. So sit back and enjoy this very interesting update on Hawkeye. Here we have with us Mr. Dendabani. He is the DGM uh, final assembly of aircraft division here. A man who has uh, spent uh, close to 25 years in HL and he was with the Jaguar program in the beginning and then to Hawk and now to Hawkeye. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Dendabani, joining Tarmac Talking. First of all, let me ask you that, um, you know, how thrilled is the team, the Hawkeye team, after the recent uh, weapon trial? Uh, thank you. First, I would like to thank Tarmac. The each and every point of our work has been come up to the light because of you. Okay, let's go ahead with that. And my team, particularly younger generation team, I'm really proud that too, the way they worked for this 100th aircraft, which is the milestone of HAL aircraft division. And I'm delighted to have my younger team also with us to for the complete achieving task. And we are almost done, almost 95% of the indigenous on this particular aircraft. All right. And compared with the direct build. -up. Almost 95% of yeah. the systems on board of Hawkeye yeah. are homegrown from the... Yes, 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 yes. Totally from home ground, indigenously manufactured, starts from the software which was written by our own sister division, MCSR. So, uh, when will it become 100%? What will happen is, now we are showing the forecast to Navy and Indian Air Force customers. So, we hope so. During this Aero India, we will achieve that also. You will, okay, interesting. Yeah. So, we will achieve during Aero India. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of a lineup you have today to explain? Yeah, we are, whatever that software which have been incorporated, which is there in other fleet, which Indian Air Force which is lagging in Hawk trainer. It's actually as a trainer. We want to give it as a strike version. For that, we have incorporated so many Indian items. I'll put my younger generation in front so that they can explain in detail about the small, small things which we have incorporated. Okay, so that is exciting. We will have now a lineup of youngsters probably trying to get you a glimpse of whatever that can be shared on public domain. So we will hear from them. Stay tuned. All right, so we have some youngsters, the team that is working on different missions of Hawkeye. Let me first go to the man on my left. He's Mr. Sheriff. Sheriff, you hold this mic and if you could speak uh, uh, that, uh, you know, you could just talk to me about uh, the future of Hawkeye, the kind of the pro, you know, things that you have planned. Actually, this uh, Hawkeye is basically a very upgrade aircraft. It's uh, totally different from the, the what Hawk, what we received from the British. But we upgraded a very to the, to the better standards like machine computers, whatever we got only one in the Hawk, whereas the present uh, Hawkeye has got two machine computers. In case of one machine computer fails, also other machine computer will take take over. Similar way, there are some other systems like EVTS, Embedded Virtual Training System. This is a peculiar system which helps the pilots to get trained at the faster rate. The basic from the basic trainer to the advanced fighter. To that extent, pilots can get trained within with a lesser time. That is the one biggest uh, advantage of this upgradation. Apart from that, there are uh, systems like DMG digital map generation these systems the 3d maps are incorporated in the uh, dmc so that it helps the pilot for the better navigation and coming to the electronic warfare systems like rwr cmds all those systems also integrated and the aircrafts are flown and with the, without any problems mr rehman he is the man who was there uh, for the recent kalaikunda trials right yeah. so uh, tell me rehman how critical was that Kalaikunda mission where the, for the first time uh, Hawkeye fired a weapon. SAW is a smart anti-airfield weapon. It is designed and developed by DRDO RCI Hyderabad. 
this saw it is integrated in hawk aircraft uh, through the machine computer this is a advanced weapon it is using for a ground attack uh, like a bunkers uh, airfield uh, critical rail fields uh, and uh, aircrafts also we can uh, attack this with this weapon this weapon is within 0.5 meter accuracy it is uh, fired by the pilot it is uh, with less team we are uh, hcl team only few people we have gone mission is completed absolutely without any failure let me now just give it to mr nagraj and who will now speak about the desi system the home grown systems on board the hawkai this hawkai system is uh, indigenously developed avanx systems okay like uh, our colleague has told about the system all indigenous systems it is there like hud head up display voice activated command system mission computers uh, rwr radar warning system uh, then saw as already my colleague has told about that like as a mission computer so it is having all uh, indigenized items so with we are with the atmanirbhar uh, system so we can go about that so we will be uh, indigenously developed the system ishwar is going to talk to about the mission what is that the mission mission computer the mission computer remember the mission computer now we have gone far ahead in on on that particular field and yes over to you avianic system mission computer is like a heart of the system whereas in the license build uh, hawk 132 aircraft digital uh, display mission com display and mission computer is used that is supplied by uk origin okay whereas for any system modification or uh, avian is upgradation totally we have to depend on the oems okay so that to overcome from that so our mcsrdc hcl mcsrdc has designed and developed in house mission computers open architecture Uh, mission computers all right so in this uh, computer we got uh, different slots so easily we can uh, integrate any new systems and uh, since the program and uh, design development is since it is on our hand we can easily integrate the new systems and uh, now we hit the shakti engine of the group shakti all right so shakti will now tell us about um the iff the radalt and uh, vacs various systems isn't it one of the best thing which we have integrated in hawkeye is an uh, artificial based voice recognition system which is called as voice activated command system which is designed by slrdc uh, hyderabad uh, hcl so one of the best feature is pilot need not uh, select any of the bezels in the mfd he can just give us voice as an input so it automatically the page uh, change over will happen so this is one of the good feature and this is the first time we have uh, implemented in hawkeye when compared with the license uh, uh, produced uh, hawk aircrafts and one more system what we have introduced is uh, identification friend of four in hawkeye we have introduced a mark 12 version uh, when compared to license production it is uh, iff 1415a so this uh, iff transponder has uh, um, uh, civil mode as well as the uh, mode is uh, capability and one more system introduced in this is redalt which is called as radio altimeter the radio altimeter used here is mark 12 version which has got higher accuracy and higher reliability this redalt will give you height information about 20000 feet with plus or minus 1% accuracy whereas the one used in license produced aircraft has accuracy only up to 5000 feet so all these features make hawkai a better aircraft and uh, shakti spoke like a very trained tv anchor non stop brilliant we really liked it and finally to two bangalore brothers ramesh and rajesh so over to ramesh first and then you will hand over the mic to him so ramesh i want to ask you about the maintainability of it maintenance of hawk hawkai is actually it's easy and it's uh, workman friendly and uh, removal of equipment of lrus and all it's very accessible and uh, drawings and all it's very clear to rectify the snags uh, within no time uh, and it's overall it's uh, easy for maintenance all right so it is easy for maintenance that is what the uh, ramesh says and what do you have to add rajesh to this it's, uh, being a mechanical i can say it's very friendly aircraft to work with 
compared to all other hakai hakai is a very friendly and uh, snag rectification being as a mechanical fast 20 years i am working in this uh, final assembly i can say this this is very friendly to maintain and uh, accessibility is very nice and when we maintain the aircraft it is very easy to find the uh, technical any snags is there and it very easy and with less time we can handle the aircraft and we can release for a flight it's very friendly aircraft these are the things that we heard from this young team very friendly aircraft very easy to maintain and uh, it is very user friendly so there is lot of noise because one of the navy hawks that you can see there it's going to to go to its base that was the young team of from the hawkai from dandabani to all these people whom you have spoken to little bit of bits and pieces that's what all we have time today interesting project of hcl the hawkai you will get to hear more about this in the coming days maybe during aero india we'll share more stories there are a lot of interesting weapon trials lined up i'm being told and the current aim is to make it 100% indigenous absolutely sinking to the heart and soul of the atmanirbhar bharat mission So that was a quick update uh, on Hawkeye from uh, HAL facility here at the aircraft division. I understand this aircraft also has on board a system called embedded uh, virtual training system, which enables, which gives an option to the pilot sitting inside this aircraft to get a similar feeling of that of a Sukhoi aircraft or a Mirage or a Jaguar. Whether it is the missile firing or the radar launches, all those things, air to air, air to ground. different aircraft environment can be simulated here so that's a huge advantage from the training point of view another uh, update is during aero india hl has lined up a series of customer demonstration flights on hokai both from indian armed forces and also from uh, people from abroad who are showing interest in this aircraft so that when it happens that's when it happens we'll get to the update I hope all of you enjoyed this quick update on Hawkeye a program which is very exciting please do remember to subscribe this channel please do remember to tell others in case you find the content interesting thanks for watching jai hind